Hey, what's up, big John, aka Operation iDroid here, and welcome to my live reaction of Attack on Titan Chapter 78. If you'd like to read this chapter with me, you can click on the card right here or follow the link in the description below, and we can read this chapter together at the same exact time by following this little page overlay right below me, which you can use to sync up your chapter with mine. With all that being said, super pumped for this chapter. We only get Attack on Titan once a month, so it's always amazing. And I'm excited to see what's going to happen with Bertolt, Rayner, and just the whole situation we're in right now. So without any further ado, as you can see, I'm on page one, or page one of two, however you want to look at it. And it's starting off right where the last one left off, with Bertolt being tossed in a barrel. First of all, that's got to suck ass. Can you imagine being tossed in a barrel? And him about to come out in his colossal titan form. So it begins with whoosh. <laughs> Berto quickly closes in on Aaron's strategic location. Ah, they got us, says Erwin, as if he knew this was going to happen at all the, the whole time. Damn it, everyone, get away from the armored titan. The colossal titan's about to fall right on us. Oh no, if he's that close to us, there's no way we'll be able to get out of the way in time. I'm at the right height. For now, I just need to blow this whole area away. Because as we know, when he transforms into a titan, like a huge, some sort of like chemical reaction occurs and like a massive blast comes out of nowhere. However, he's about to blow up, right? He sees through the little like breathing holes of his barrel. Rainer, all fucked up, all types of fucked up, while everyone is just running away. Do you see everyone just running away? Like, yo, the cops are after us. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and they all just run away. Okay, so he comes out with 3D maneuvering gear. Don't know where he got that, but he has 3D maneuvering gear. And instead of, like, turning into the Colossal Titan and a massive explosion happening, he pulls a fake and goes straight to Rainer. Because I guess he believes Rainer's dead. Rainer... Is that, I don't know. I mean, he has no head. But then again, we know the Titans can move their, like, vitals and shit, so. Rainer, and then he's, like, touching him, and then he feels his heartbeat. Damn, he's alive. So, does this mean you were able to transfer your consciousness across your body's nervous system? I see. If you use your nervous system with a Titan's brain, you'll even be able to retain your memories. But that's a last resort. I can't believe you'd actually do it. So he lost his brain completely, number one. However, he somehow was able to transfer all of that into his nervous system. Don't know how, but he's alive. However, now that he hasn't exploded, I think this would be the best time for everyone to just go fuck him up. I never thought they'd be able to push you to this, Rainer. I want to ask you for something. If you can, I need you to move your body a bit. If you can't, I'm sorry, but you need to prepare yourself. I'm going to end this. Okay, you a Bertolt. I mean... You are the Colossal Titan, don't get me wrong, but Bertolt has been a little bit of a bitch most of Attack on Titan, so I'm curious to see how he's going to end this. We're safe for now. Bertolt aborted his attack once he saw the state Rainer was in. In any case, our, mi our mission target has flown directly into our sights. You might even be able to call this a lucky turn of events. Okay, so counterattack initiated. Let's do this. Target approaching from the front. It's Bertolt. Continue as planned. Squad Levi, follow Armin's commands. Protect Aaron. Everyone else, work together to eliminate our two targets. Finish off the Armored Titan. As for the Colossal Titan, continue as planned. Wear it down by forcing it to use its strength. Please wait. What is it, Armin? This is it. This is our last chance to negotiate. Bruh. I cannot believe this man Armin is still trying to negotiate with these guys. Come on. Even after the flashback in the last chapter, when we found out what they did to Marco. Mm, I know Armin doesn't know that that happened, but fuck, dude. And I know a lot of people too, like a lot of like uh, fans, like readers and whatnot, want Bertolt and Rainer to be saved. Like I know they were like boys before, but they're, they, they're just total. They've been total dicks, man. Armin, dude, I don't think it's going to work out. Bertolt, stop where you are. And he stopped. Okay. Um, everyone's looking. Armin, what in the world are you thinking? Bertolt, let's talk. Okay. If we talk, 
Will you all agree to die? We only have two demands. We want you to give us Aaron, and we want all of humanity inside the walls to be wiped out. That's just how reality is, Armin. Everything has already been decided. By who? Who decided that? And he said, I did. What the fuck? This man Bertolt is swearing right now. What did you say? I decided. Your lives are coming to an end right here. Oh, that's too bad. I was hoping that I wouldn't have to hear any shrieks, any lo- <laughs> Boy! Armin! No chill! Dude, Armin has really grown up, man. I don't think he would have been able to drop that line maybe a couple chapters back, but now he gives no fucks. You know, you're the only one left here who can free Annie from this cruel monsters in the military police brigade, right? At this rate, Annie will end up as food for our livestock. Then let her. Oh my, yo, Bertolt's a savage too. He doesn't give a fuck about Annie anymore. Let them feed her to their pigs. That is, if you're actually captured her, of course. Why are, where are you going, Armin? Aren't we going to talk? Yo, Bertolt's coming after Armin's head. What the fuck? Did you think you could upset me by bringing up Annie again? Did you think that you'd be able to talk meek, obedient Bertolt into letting his guard down? You see what I'm saying? Bertolt has really stepped up, man. He swears. But at the same time, like, Armin and him have... They were both really timid in the past. Anyways, get back, Aaron. You have to realize that you're at a dif disadvantage against him, right? This isn't your time to take the stage. Damn it, Armin, why? But really, you're not doing this for either reason. You're just buying time so that you can surround me with soldiers while the others can go and kill Raynor. It's all meaningless. I know. So as long as you're standing there shaking, you're not able to do a thing. Yo, I would love to see Armin just shove his blade right through his head. If you figured that much out, why did you agree to talk? I thought when I appeared, you might start whining and begging for mercy again. But... It looks like you're fine now. Oh, I just saw one of the panels before I even got there. I hate when that happens. Okay, I need to not look at that. It looks like you're fine now. Yeah, you're, you're all cherished friends and they're really trying to kill us. Is that because we're descendants of devils? Oh no, none of you have done anything wrong. You're not devils. It's just that you all have to die. There's nothing you can do now. This was the panel I saw. Do you see this girl Mikasa right behind him about to slice his head off? To be honest, I hope it ends right here. Nope, he saw it coming. Yo, since when was Bertolt this good with his fucking... Oh, Jesus. His ear is gone. His ear is gone. What the fuck? Dude, I was not expecting that. But then again, I was not expecting him to block Mikasa's blow. Like, Mikasa is much better than him. Okay, so... She cuts off the man's ear, but then gets kicked right in the face. She's falling off the building. Man is coming for Armin. Armin calls for Mikasa because she fell off the building. And then is that Levi? Levi comes out of nowhere. Stops Bertolt from doing anything to Armin. Levi continues to attack. And Bertolt runs away. Ah, don't chase him, Armin. He's going to rescue the armored titan. We don't know when he's going to transform. If we don't get away from him, we'll be caught in the blast again. But I don't feel like Bertolt is going to cause a blast right now. With Raynor exposed and on the verge of death, Bertolt doing that would finish him off. This is our chance to use Raynor as a hostage and fight Bertolt in, cold, in close combat. You think so, but it seems like he had something planned, actually. Was that really Bertolt? He nearly seemed like a different person. I agree. I agree, too. Bertolt was like on some other shit, dude. Hurry! The armored titan is on death's door. Rush in and finish it. Oh, yo, what the hell? He actually moved like Berto told him to. That's crazy. How the fuck did he manage that? What? It's facing upwards? Now, how are we supposed to do just go straight through the fucking eyes? What a strange feeling. I'm barely even scared. I can see everything around me. I feel like any outcome would be, ex un would be acceptable. That's right. No one's at fault here. Nothing could have made a difference. Not when the world is this cruel of a place. Okay, so I think he's just, he's going up, really up, way up, and I think, yeah, he's going to transform up there. He started to ascend, could he be, but isn't the armor tight and nearby? Pull back for now. Commander, Hanji, oh, yo, do you think, yo, wait, what? That's a big-ass explosion, it looks like it's going to get Hanji, looks like it's going to get Erwin, 
Looks like it's gonna get Levi. Looks like it's gonna get Armin. Yo, everyone. I think it's just like, no, I don't think it's gonna get everyone, but still. Okay, never mind. That's a big ass explosion. What the fuck? Yo, look at that thing. It's like a small bomb. That's crazy. But is everything in the like, vicinity just totally fucked or like... Wow, everything in the vicinity is totally fucked. Shout out to, uh, to Aaron for catching a couple people. Shout out to Mikasa for saving Armin. And fuck, that's, that's one, two, three, four. That's four people. No, five, one in the background. Getting blasted away like Team Rocket. What the fuck, dude? That's a big ass explosion and created a mushroom cloud. Look at Erwin just watching from a distance. Totally safe. And okay. Are you guys still alive? I'm fine. What about you? I'm still alive somehow. Mikasa, Armin, are you two all right? We're okay. What about the squad? Han what about squad Hanji? They were near Bertolt. Yo, do you think Hanji's dead? That'd be a fucking blow to lose Hanji. Could we be the only ones who survive? There's no time in this battle to dwell on fallen comrade. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yo, and it looks like um, Rainer's already growing his like brain back. So I think that's him in the bottom like right panel of the last page. Yo, what the hell? The Colossal Titan is now here. And he actually has some balls now and isn't being a little bitch Bertolt. As he normally is, which is pretty crazy because if you think about like how like like destructive the Colossal Titan could be with its size, it's insane, you know? But at the same time, bigger target doesn't have armor like the armored titan. So like there's pros and cons to it. However, now that Bertolt is like having a different personality. It's going to be much more difficult to take him down, especially if Rainer's already recovering and if he'll be like good to go by the time they take out the Colossal Titan or while they're taking out the Colossal Titan. Nevertheless, awesome chapter, dude. I really enjoyed it. It was nice to see Bertolt step up. It was nice to see Armin step up. Like it's crazy how like these two really timid characters who we were really we were first introduced to have like really developed and changed. Uh, because of the situations and things that have happened around them. Um, all in all, I really enjoyed this chapter. If you did as well, please hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts about this chapter in the comment section below. Um, do you think Hanji squad is dead? Like, that'd be crazy if they just killed Hanji off just like that. Like, Attack on Titan is a, a manga to really kill characters off often. But at the same time, like, Hanji, she's a big character. Like, to see her go and, like, uh, just an explosion like that with no real reason would be a blow. But anyways, I guess I'll see you guys in one month for another chapter of Attack on Titan or in any of my other videos, if that's your thing. And as always, thanks for watching this with me and keep being you.